Um, we're getting a lot of leads, I'm sure, as you are too, um, in very small rural areas with, I mean, populations as little as a thousand in these little towns and not very many big towns around them. So when you get a lead that's in a small area like this <clears throat> and there's not a lot of population density like close, so there's not a lot of comps, there's not a lot of activity of solds and, and purchases going on, there's not a lot of houses for rent. What do you guys, how do you guys market in those areas when there's not like a Craigslist place for those areas or a marketplace um, selection for those areas? Paid, paid, paid advertising probably. How do you, yeah. how do you guys market in those so, areas? We still do the marketplace on Facebook. Um, okay. You could do the paid Facebook ads. Um, the other thing I always did was on Craigslist. I don't care if it's a densely populated area or not. I still post in every Craigslist that's within a three hour radius okay. of that okay. specific area. So you just find the Craigslist, um, you know, because a lot of the Craigslist places, you know, it, they'll have like six or eight per state, you know, or whatever. Yeah. And yeah. You just if, find there's the only, if there's only it. six or eight in the entire state, do the entire state. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Just, just do a different posting for each one. Yeah. Just change up your wording just a little bit on each one so it doesn't flag it as a duplicate ad you're such a rebel craigslist rebel <laughs> <laughs> and we're there's work for everything <laughs> yeah how yeah. are you doing the other challenge that we're having in some of these smaller rural areas is there's not a lot of activity on houses sold how mm -hmm. are so we're having a hard time coming up with you know good comps honestly uh, you want to know the uh you want to know the honest answer it doesn't matter wing it find your lease purchase buyer first we just make it up as we go. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right. If we can't find comps matter. and ARV, we just like look at the pictures like, eh, it feels like eh, one nineteen nine. All right, let's go. Yeah. Well, honestly, that's what I've been doing. I I've been kind of looking around and like, look, I think that somebody would buy this house for this number and yeah. they might rent it for this number. And well, let's just throw it out. Let's just go fishing. Let's just throw it out there and see what we catch. Yeah, it, you know, the, the price on a lease option is like the least important thing, uh, mm -hmm. the least important number on the whole deal for the buyer, mm -hmm. from the buyer's perspective. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, you could look at it a couple of different ways. Like you could come at it from the, like the cost plus margin standpoint, like, you know, go in at your price and you want to make sure you get a minimum, say 30 grand equity spread. So there's your price, you know, mm -hmm. or if you think that, maybe the ARV is up here, but you're not really sure and you want to get this thing moved, just knock it down a little bit, you know, just get it moved. But, um, you know, it's a common question that we get a lot of times from other clients uh, getting deals in rural areas. But, you know, like Jeff was saying earlier, just a minute ago, like, you know, there's a lid for every pot, every, there's a mm -hmm. buyer for every house, as long as there are houses and people who want to live in them in that area, you know, maybe if it's a super small area, maybe it takes you longer to sell it. But, you know, maybe it would take a shorter amount of time to sell it. You know, you just, it's going to take get out everybody there to longer to sell it. it. Why not it be you to do it sooner than everybody else and make money? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. It, you know, if there's only a thousand people, that's it. That's, that's your market, you know? So just deal with it. Mm -hmm. Just get better than everybody else at doing what you're going to do with those thousand people. There's only a thousand people. You send a letter to all of them if you want and say, hey. <laughs> yeah, there's only a thousand. Do you know or <laughs> do, would you like to move into our house? This is a great place, blah, blah. You know, that's it. Yeah. It costs you six, seven hundred dollars and you'll find a, you'll find a customer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't think we're too too terribly worried about that yeah i just was curious what you guys were using for types of marketing to those kind of people but i like that jeff i never thought about that <laughs> literally yeah. you you send a letter and saying listen we've got a great house for lease with option to buy are you interested or perhaps you've got a relative or a friend that would like to move into the area and that mm -hmm. gets everybody all those thousand people thinking about three or four or five thousand other people you know and then you can put something in there hey if you don't know uh, you're not interested, you know, we pay a referral fee if you can send us somebody. Now you got 10,000 people out there, your eyeballs looking at it. Um, mm -hmm. You just, you start your own storm. You create your own vortex. Get it going. Got it. All right. Well, we're, we've got some yes to terms that are in the pipeline that are, we're just getting ready to put them on paper.
Heck I yeah. sold a house one time in the mountains and there was 29 people in the community. That was it. So we just started going out in concentric circles with letters and we finally sold it. Somebody, <laughs> some other Yahoo wanted to live up there. I mean, it was, you know, whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wouldn't nice. live there. Well, somebody did, you know. Probably I think it's a pretty decent. Sorry, go boy. No, good. No, nothing. Never mind. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I was gonna say I think it's a we're, we've got one that's a yes to terms, and we're um, in in the process of writing her an offer, and you know they're we're looking we're trying to find even houses for rent. There's not even houses for rent in this little town, so I mean I think that might be a good sign this more than anything. If there's no houses for rent yeah. or for sale. <laughs> you can yeah. legitimately you know? say you control the entire rental fleet in that town. <laughs> Yeah. Right, right. wants to rent has to come through like the godfather of rentals in east overshoe iowa that's a good thing yeah. well, we couldn't even hey that's where it's at <laughs> no. no that's right in nick's backyard yeah. um no we yeah because we couldn't even find um there's no like there's no documentation of of you know to even verify how much rent is 